Hey everybody, I'm Alex Big Blue, and I want to wish you guys a happy St. Patrick's Day. And so, in doing so, I also thought it'd be fun for me to briefly tell you guys some of my favorite green characters from across comic books and just all things I enjoy in general, like anime or movies or, you know, cartoons or whatever. So yeah, anyways, let me go ahead and get into the characters. So the first green characters that I want to talk about here is the Ninja Turtles. They're definitely some of my favorite characters. And they have always been something I've enjoyed ever since I was a little kid, all the way to now. And they're one of the best teams of all time, in my opinion. And just some of the coolest characters, uh, singly and as a team in general. I've always really liked them a lot. And next up, we have Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer. He is the uh, protagonist in that, by the way. Uh, his He's known, of course, for his green and black checkered garb, which is awesome basically iconic for anime at this point uh but yeah he's a great character and i like him a lot and i like demon slayer a lot in general and he's just a very likable and interesting character that's always kind of an underdog that's trying to over you know overcome the obstacles and next up we have tn shinhan from dragon ball z he's probably my favorite overall dragon ball z character if i had to say and he's definitely my favorite of the uh good characters and i would say the reason for that especially is I, of course, love superheroes, as you guys know. He just always is, seems the most like the, a superhero to me of the show. There's others that does too, though. It's arguable on that. But I've always really liked Tien a lot. He, of course, he has his classic green clothes that's real awesome too. That's the reason why he's on this, of course. And yeah, he's just like, he always is willing to put himself on the line, even if it cost him his life. And he's always there for a save for people. And even when he's up against uh, very powerful opponents that way outrank him, he'll do his best to hold them off or fight them anyways in order to save people or buy time. And that's really cool. And speaking of Dragon Ball Z, I also have Cell, one of the all-time greatest bad guys in all of anime. And I would say in general, as far as that goes, he's just a very powerful, big, bad character, regardless of which one of his forms he's in. But perfect Cell is a really cool character also and a very interesting one. He's kind of got like, he's kind of got like ego and all of that stuff too. You know what I mean? Like, and he's, he sort of has more of a gamesmanship to him once he gets to that stage. And just, he's a very interesting and very, very, uh, kind of like, you know, intimidating character for, for Dragon Ball Z and in general. And another one of my favorite green characters is Devastator from Transformers. I think Devastator is awesome because, of course, he's a giant robot, which is always cool anyways. <laughs> but also, the fact that all of the other, I think it's five of the robot or the Transformers go together to make him has always been very cool to me. I've always loved that. And, yeah, I just think he's a very cool character and a very powerful character. And one of the Decepticons that really stand out to me, which I like a lot of the Decepticons anyways, but he's always been one of the ones that I've liked a lot. And next up, we have three green Marvel characters that I want to talk about that some of my favorite ones, starting with the Incredible Hulk. Of course, one of the most iconic heroes in general anyways, and probably one of the best-known green characters too, actually. Um, the Incredible Hulk is extremely interesting psychologically from the way the transformation works and the man hating it and all that stuff, not wanting to lose control. And, of course, the monster itself is very cool the way the character is and also like i said the dichotomy between the two is fascinating to me and yeah just in general i think the hulk is just a great character and one of the best angry giant archetype characters there is in general in my opinion and next up from the green marvel characters that i was talking about sleepwalker so the green skinned dream alien if you will <laughs> just to make it more simple in case you haven't read the comics is one of the coolest characters i think um that especially that's underrated, one of the most underrated ones of all time that's really cool for sure. But I think he's one of the best Marvel ones anyways, like way up there anyways. He's certainly one of my favorite characters that's, that's gaining ground all the time. I think Sleepwalker is just a very cool character, and I love the stories he's in. Very good stuff. Highly recommend you guys reading that run if you haven't already from the 80s or 90s, which take, I think mostly 90s, if not entirely. And the last green Marvel character that I was going to talk about is Man-Thing. Man-Thing is an awesome character because he's very unique. The way he kind of doesn't really know what's going on for the most part. He just sort of does stuff off the way he feels like these emotions kind of controls what he does, at least for the most part. And I think later on it changes up some, but 
nonetheless, he's a very cool character and all of his stories are super interesting. And he's a very uh, kind of kind of sort of sad but empathetic character that makes you really like him for that reason. He's kind of a tortured type of character, but it works out because he's always doing good things anyways in spite of that. And yeah, he's a very lovable character in general. And now to close this off for two of my favorite green DC characters. So starting off with Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern, I think his personality is always very interesting. His origin with, you know, flying the planes and all of that. And just everything about him has always been pretty cool to me. And he's always been one of my favorite uh, DC members. Like, he's pretty high up the list in general. And the other one is my favorite Green Lantern, slightly over him, which is Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner is my favorite Green Lantern. And he's also just a very likable character in general. And I feel like I sort of have always just really connected with his stories a lot. And that's the reason why I have him at or why I have him as my favorite Green Lantern, slightly over Hal. But yeah, I think also his the fact that he's an artist and he makes the really awesome constructs that's really crazy and out there has always been really interesting too. And I actually like both of them's costumes, both Green Lantern, both those two, about the same because I like both of their costumes for different reasons. The kind of way they look is really cool. I'm Alex McBlue. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day.